hi friends and welcome to my third hibernate tutorial and in today's tutorial I'll be showing you how to actually how many ways are available so that actually we can connect our tables to classes now first I'm going to show you how to connect multiple tables to multiple classes and these tables are not related to each other now you'll understand this better when I show you the example this is really a simple concept that's why I didn't want to show you by writing a program so just look here I have my source folder here alright and I have my hibernate configuration file mapping file and I have my default package now what I'm doing is I have my three tables which are not related with each other I have my country table I have my student table and employee table employee table is the same as we used in our last class so we have the country table and student table and we are using this three table at a time and mapping them to these three classes for example let's check the tables out I say describe my country table so I say run and this my country table has name and population and then I have the student table and I run this and then I have student table has ID and name now employee table has well, you all people know what we did in the last tutorial so employee table has few columns too so these three tables are not related to each other and I am what how I can map them in my mapping file is simple now I'm opening my mapping file and I have to map three tables so I have the mapping the XML DTD then I have the hibernate mapping DTD and <coughs> I have the class tab and I have class tab closing here in this class tab I have mapped my student table class to the student table and then I have one more class tab where I mapped the employee class to the employee table and finally I have what you call class one more class tab where I map the country class to the country table and the <coughs> it had the country class as ID identification column identifier column as name and uh, so in this way I can have as many classes uh, as I want and so I can actually map as many classes to as many tables I want I want and now these classes are not related with each other these are completely different classes and I can use them in my different main programs to actually run them or also I can use them together if I want them to but these classes are not related to each other and this is how we actually connect multiple classes or I actually connect multiple tables to multiple classes or we have connection class we connect class to table and we have multiple class declaration in so this is how we write the mapping file I may have as many classes as I want as many class tabs as I want so as many table I want I want I can map as many classes to as many tables I want so this is a simple file let's see now let me show you how I can use them I and let me show you the main program so this is my main program which is known as insertion.java and in my main program I have the five lines of code that is uh, to actually start my running of application I have configuration object the session factory object I have configured my file the configuration file then I have the session object then I have the transaction object <coughs> then I have I'm creating objects of my Pojo classes first I'm creating object of my country class and I'm creating I'm setting the name and values and then I am actually and values then I have the employee object and from the employee object I'm actually getting a record so I can show you that diff you in different Pojo classes I can have different functions I can I, I employee Pojo class I'm getting a record whereas in country Pojo class country object I'm trying to insert the record and finally in the student class also I'm trying to insert a record now let me insert a country called China and let's say its population is around 8000 uh, million or whatever and then I have employee object I'm getting record number one in my from my employee table and uh, in the student I'm inserting record number three and uh, let's say some name 
alright so I'm inserting in two tables and I'm selecting from one table that is I'm inserting in country table and student table but I am selecting in employee table now uh, if we are using commits so that it actually commits and it updates the value in our database tables if we don't write commit it won't update uh, let me show you that quickly I'm removing the commit also I can do many things in this one program so now let me run this program running as Java application alright select ok and let's see what we get I'm getting the console at the bottom and let's see let me maximize the console for you guys alright so it says it successfully works I have loaded from the employee and I have selected the record from the employee table and I got the ID name a mobile number and the email address and from in the hybrid in the country table I'm inserting uh, the values and the student table I'm inserting the values now let me show you quickly the values which I was inserting I was inserting country China and I was setting name to Salman now let's see if it actually got added so select asterisk from um, uh, country and run this security and check out see China is not inserted because we didn't commit it now quickly change it to student and then run it again and still I don't have the third name third ID third ID okay so now I'll write TX dot commit so that we know now when I commit it it actually gets updated in my database now run this program run as Java application and it will work su successfully and let's check our database table now run this see I have the third ID third record and it's successfully inserted that's the reason why we use transaction and we use commit alright now uh, you can also use rollback and you may try it uh, by yourself now the other thing I can have is the country let's check out if I have China and uh, run this query again let's see I have China with a population of 8000 so this program works successfully and now I want to t uh, what do you call uh, explain you a new program in which I'm going to explain you discriminator class and how discriminator column and discriminator what you call discriminator column and discriminator value works so for that let me open notepad because I want to explain you in a faster way alright let's say I have games and in games I have three type of games normal game and I have something called RPG games and I have arcade games alright now according to my table this is a scenario I'm considering so it's not real existence scenario so according to my scenario if a game is not an RPG game or an arcade game it has to be a normal game alright so I have two types of games three types of games actually the normal game and the RPG game and the arcade game alright and this actually is actually available in my games type the what you call it, this normal game RPG game arcade game is a kind of game types so for this program I'm actually using I want to show you the table first describe games and run the security and I have ID name space the space the game occupies and the type of the game alright and the type of the games are three types normal type RPG type and arcade type any or else if it is not an RPG type game it is not an arcade type game then it has to be a normal type game so what I want my program to do I would be using two subclasses alright and then uh, if I'm using RPG so, uh, I'll actually instead of using one class map to what you call one table I'll be mapping one class and few subclasses to the same table and the subclasses will be like uh, first I have my main class games and the subclass RPG and the subclass arcade which extends the main class game now this is a bit difficult to understand but I'm sure you people will get it once you see the proper example so discriminator value means whenever I use the subclass RPG to create insert a new data in the games table obviously uh, it will 
by default put the game type to RPG game and if I use the arcade game and try to insert the data in my games it will by default put the game type to what you call arcade for example let's say I have a players table and all right and I have player name age height all right three pointers and number of goals and what you call type of player now I have this table for instance all right name age height three pointer goals and type now I can in this players table I can have two types of player one or is a basketball player all right and the other is the football player all right now the football player will not need this column three pointer column so the football player pojo class or the foot I said you we are using subclasses which actually extends the player class so player table may contain all this or the player table may only okay now let's write the classes for this for better understanding player class contains mapping of name age height all right and type and we define type is going to be the discriminator column all right and then I have the basketball class which contains which actually extends players all right uh, let me just increase the font basketball class which extend players so when I say it extends player by default it gets the name age height and the type by default and I'll set its discriminator value to to what do I say basketball player basketball player all right short form all right basketball player so now I have its discriminator value set to basketball player and it has one more column called three pointers because it, it is a basketball so when I use this class the basketball class to insert the data in the players table by default it what you call type uh, the type column takes the discriminator value BB player and the discriminator value is assigned to the discriminator column which is type and so by default the type goes to uh, basketball player and then I am extending it player so I can use I can insert name age height and then I have three pointers which I can insert to how many three pointers the player have shot or shoot it and then uh, I can insert the number of goals he hit because he's not a football player and we don't have goals in this then I may have football players with exactly similar kind of class football class extends players discriminator value is going to be football player and instead of three pointer column i put him goals column where we can specify the number of goals he have hit it or number of goals he did in his career so whenever we use the best football class object to save or insert the data by default the type will get to the type i specify now we'll get this once I do a small program and explain you guys so let's start with the program I'm using the games table and file new Java project I'll be going a little fast and only the steps where I need to explain I'll be explaining a bit slow so follow me alright uh, let's say I have the games project games proj alright and then I finish it and then I have the source file and in the source folder I have to create a new XML file so I say other not file and I click on XML I say next and then I say games dot configuration file CFG dot XML then I say it finish alright and since I'm using the same database I can use the uh, what they call configuration files which I already have so I'm opening one of my old configuration file copying all this and copy it close it and paste it over here alright now 
because I was using you can check my configuration file I have connection to the database the six lines of code auto commit false and then I have display SQL query and then I have mapping file which I have to change since this is a different program and I'll be using a different mapping file alright so continuing now I have my configuration uh, what do you call XML file done the next thing I need are the POJO classes so let's create new class and uh, let's create a games class games with a capital G alright and save finish alright so let's actually write the games class as we know the POJO class it has to implement serializable so let's do that implement and the serializable alright and then we have to write number of column it contains and uh, you can check out here the number of column it contains ID name space and type so let's start running I have private and ID I have private int sorry private string name and then I have private uh, what do you call string type let's change this and then I have uh, right what do I have next name type and ID let's check out name type ID and we have something called space now let's keep space let's say space is common uh, for just for I'm um, just for showing purpose let me keep space in the subclasses and let's say we don't need them here all right uh, we can keep space here there's no problem at all all right let's keep say I wanted to keep means like now right now my subclasses are going to be empty because as I showed you in this example I have these two columns called three pointers and goals where the subclasses the basketball subclass has a three pointer column and a player football subclass has a what do I say goals uh, goal number of goals uh, column all right column so but in this there are no columns that the subclasses are going to have so let me say you the space it's going to be in gigabyte so let's keep it long so let's say private long and what do you say long space alright and and then let's create an empty constructor so say public and call games alright and then we have to put the setters and getter methods to so say source and then I say generate getter and setter methods and uh, select all and say ok and there you have the games class complete now I need the next class the subclass so I say new class and the class name let's say RPG RPG and finish it for role-playing games so this class has to extend and extends the games class alright and then we have nothing over here because like football player had no go the goals column in our games table we don't have any specific column that is only for the role playing game type alright so you may check out with examples it will perfectly work if you have any extra column which is specific for the role playing game type like the example which I gave you the football player may have the number of goals columns or the goal type but it will be empty for the basketball player because he has a three pointer column but in this example I don't have any column specific for the role playing game type of game RPG type of games so I'll just put an empty constructor and say r public wide RPG and let's say this is finished and even my next constructor uh, what you call next class is going to be a similar one and let's say I have arcade type of games and I'm creating an arcade class and I say finish oh sorry I we don't need public static void main I did a mistake alright so this class has to extend alright this has to extend extends uh, games alright 
and then I have nothing but an empty constructor because there is no column I have is specific for what do I say games mm, games are uh, arcade ki arcade kind of games so and uh, let's create an empty constructor public R K. all right this is finished I don't have any columns so that I can specify here which are specific to the arcade unlike the example which I presented you guys I just came with that example just right now right when I was ex trying to explain you guys so if there was a basketball football player here I could have something called number of goals and for the basketball player subclass I could have something like number of three pointers but in this example which I planned on I'm doing right now because I created the games table I have with me I have arcade and I don't have any values here but I'll show you it probably in the next video I'll create a new table games in which it can have a specific or I'll drop this table and create a new table with specific columns all right so now my what do you call pojo classes are done the third thing remaining in our program is the uh, mapping file so let's say other and say XML next I'm going the what do you call uh, coding part a bit fast because you already know what are the basic things we require we require configuration file the mapping file the pojo classes and the sequence we go is the first the configuration file then the pojo classes and then the mapping file so uh, let's begin on the mapping file let's say games dot hbm that stands for hibernate mapping dot xml and I need to copy this why because I have to specify it in my configuration file so let me open my configuration file and paste it here alright perfect and then now let me open my hibernate distribution folder and I have something called the pro project folder and then I have the core folder source folder main folder resources organize hibernate and the mapping I need to copy the DTD and you people know it why in the first tutorial I've shown you why and let me open it close it copy this three lines of code and close this and paste it over here alright minimize it make it bigger alright paste it over here try to put it in one line and space after public and space in between these two objects I mean here all right here and let's start programming let's say hibernate mapping and then we have the class object and the class object all right then know what's the class object going to be uh, let's start with the games class now let's say games uh, class name alright games and then I have table games alright with the capital GMES alright games check out the table name yes it is games alright then I have what do I have next then I have the identification column identifier column ID that is ID uh, sorry name is uh, ID and column is ID and what do I have next and type is integer with a cap small i I kept a list of what you call the variables hibernate type of variables in my blog so you can actually check it out now the new thing over here is I have to specify what is my discriminator column alright so my discriminator column which discriminates between the RPG game and arcade game is sorry it's not gonna be discriminator column what do I say it has to be discriminator value yeah sorry the value and what's now what this means is as I said in my notepad if the games there are three type of games one is the normal games RPG games arcade games now what it means is if I'm going to insert some data using my games pojo class then the game type is going to be the normal 
type of game so I'm going to set its discriminator value to be normal alright and then I have to specify what my discriminator column is so let's say I have discriminator alright sorry ID I didn't close ID type where's my ID close alright ID and I have to write their generator alright assigned and spelling wrong alright assigned and then I have alright then I have the discriminator and then I have discriminator column and column is type I'm going to show you what the column is this is a column type alright and then and what's the type of it type of the column what kind of value does it hold numeric number it is it's uh, what you call store string alright and then this is done now the next property name that we have is similar and similarly we just specify the properties for the other columns let's say property and the property name is going to be space and the column is going to be space all right and it's a type since the space is we used long in our pojo class we'll keep it long over here sorry uh, and it's long 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 all right and then I have the last column property name equals all right property name equals um, name column the name of the game that I have and the column equals and name itself I can write capital name okay I didn't write capitals in this program just forgot but uh, I don't need to tell you this belongs to the table database and this belongs to the class alright guys and next the type of name and the type of name is going to be string with a small s alright and then we have the name the space I think we're done we have the name ID name space and type all are done and the, the re thing to remember we did the changes the new things are we have discriminator column type so whenever I use class name games and insert some data by default it will keep type it will set the type to normal now let's we have to what you call map or subclasses now the subclasses are going to be within my class tabs this are my class tab you see whenever I click over here it got gray here and it got gray here alright so that is my class so my subclasses are going to be within the classes so let's say sub and you have subclass and now let's specify our subclass since our subclass do not contain any column like we, we don't have any specific columns in our subclass that specify that particular what you call type so it's just going to have declaration of subclass without anything and subclass name is going to be sorry uh, R capital R P G and alright and what does it extends I have to specify and it extends games with the capital G and what's the discriminator value now when I'm extending it from games by default I can use the ID the space the name the only thing that I can change is the discriminator value now the discriminator value is going to be for RPG games it's going to be R P and G alright guys now this is done too now I have the another subclass right subclass alright the name of the subclass is going to be arcade with a capital arcade and this two extends alright it extends uh, games and the discriminator value for this person is going to be arcade with a capital everything Oracle is case insensitive to it doesn't, it doesn't matter whether I write capitals or not it's always going to ha take it as capitals alright so arcade games discriminator value and this thing 
so our mapping is done we don't have any columns in our subclasses specific columns I gave you an example where you may have what you call columns in the subclasses like I told you it may uh, you may have a football column so you may have for a football player you may have the what you call in your subclass of the football player you may have number of goals column and in your subclass of basketball player you may have the number of three-pointer columns and but in this program we just have nothing in our subclasses so this is pretty much it and now let's write the main code let's check it once everything is correct all right long string everything everything looks correct all right so did I close my subclasses yes all right and so now let's write the main program for this click on the default and create a new class and uh, let's call this class insertion class our final class is better final class is going to contain public static void main and here we are with the final class now let's write the final class so how do we start our final class we have to write the four basic lines of code okay for before we start we need to what do you call uh, we need to mm, build what do you call insert the external jars we are supposed to use the hibernate jar the uh, call database jar so click on our pro uh, project go to properties and we have something called java build path add external jars and I can always keep my jars in a single folder and I just copy them all and just say open and then I have one more external jar that I have to add and for that let me go to my desktop and there's supposed to be a jar yeah this is a jar open it and okay now let's start writing our program the main program and let's start configuration all right CFG equals new configuration alright new configuration and then you have to configure the configuration file CFG dot configure alright and then you have to configure the configuration file and the configuration file is games dot CFG dot XML alright and then you have the session factory session factory alright SF equals to uh, cfg dot build session factory all right and then you have uh, session s that's equal to sf dot open session all right and then you have transaction all right transaction tx is equal to new what they call begin transaction s dot begin transaction all right and then you have uh, we have to write the code that's pretty much it so let's start writing first let's create a games object games g is equal to new games all right and then let's say i said g dot set id equal to one all right and let's say g dot set name and we'll set it later g dot set uh, space and i'm not setting the type look carefully I'm not setting the type at all all right and all right then I'm not using the type at all I'm not setting any value to type so because when I'm using games it may it will take the discriminator value and let me show you the what do you call let me go to the games class this is my games class and the discriminator value is normal which it will assign to my discriminator column which is uh, where is my discriminator column which is type alright so what I mean it by default it will assign game type to normal alright so let's create our another the subclass let's use our subclass let's use uh, what you call the RPG subclass and create RPG R equals new R sorry new RPG and close it and then R dot set ID alright and then let me set it later and then R sorry all right r dot set name and r dot set we have set space all right and I'm not setting type in my RPG 2 
now my ID I'm going to keep two and my role playing game name let's say it is uh, what do you say ninja gaiden alright whatever alright and then this is should be in semicolons I just forgot alright sorry for that and what did I keep okay I didn't even set a name here uh, which is the normal type game let's say NFS and the space is going to be around 500 megabytes and the space of ninja bug gaiden is around 7 GB so this is done we set our RPG game now you must check it out see in my RPG Pojo class this is rpg.java I don't have any column specified but since I extended the game it extended from games I can use the games ID name type it's already in my RPG because I'm extending it from game that's why I have what you call I'm setting I'm setting my ID name and space and I can have RPG Pojo class may have its own column and I gave you that kind of scenario now the last one let's use our last uh, what you call a subclass and that's the arcade arcade a equals new arcade all right all right and then we have a dot set ID a dot oh. all right a dot set name a dot a dot set space all right and remember even here I'm not setting the game type all right so I'm not setting the game type at all so let's check out it it has to take the discriminator values which we assign to this subclass now RPG if you see the mapping file and see my subclass RPG I have assigned the discriminator value to RPG all right discriminator value of it is RPG so discriminator column is type and RPG is extending type so by default it will become RPG so, and for similarly for arcade I am assigning the value as arcade so it will take the value arcade and let's put the name arcade game let's say Tekken all right and the space let's say Tekken is around 600 MB all right and then I have to have a semicolon here and we are done with our program okay we're not done with our program we have to save this as that save right guys save as that save we have to save three objects as dot save sorry all right come on all right as that save now let's say first uh, let's say first one is G the second one is R the last one is A and then I have to s dot flush and then I have tx dot commit you know it won't work without commit and this is finished now alright save this control s and run it run as java application alright save all of it okay and let's see if it works perfectly in the first run all right it's working perfectly in my first run okay insert game insert into game I inserted name and it's inserting type by default it's taking the discriminator value which we assign to it and inserting that value here to here to so what's happening is when the hibernate framework is generating the query it is getting the type from the type what they call discriminator v value we assign to it for RPG we assign RPG arcade subclass arcade and the main class we assign normal so it's taking those values when we are actually what do I say when we are actually inserting it all right where's my console all right this is my console when we are actually inserting it so let's check our database to see uh, the values so let's say select let's run a select query and run this see I have now you remember and you may check my program in my program I haven't specified in my G object you see I specified the ID the name the set space NFS 
uh, size was 500 MB and set ID was 1 now check my database I got 1 I got NFS I got 500 and the normal now this normal is I'm going to show you it's the, the normal we assigned to the discriminator value it is this normal alright I hope you understood well uh, it this concept is a bit tricky but it's very easy once you understand it and so the class name is games and the discriminator value I set for the class G object was normal and G object refers to the game class alright and the the column which this discriminator value normal refers to was the discriminator column that was type now check out this is the type column and uh, which is the discriminator column so assign here discriminator column that is type and the value we got is normal because G object we used to insert the data and G is a games object and the games object discriminator value is normal so discriminator value will make discriminator column to get that value so now let me show you the second column with what we got we use ninja gaiden 7002 now in this two i didn't insert any type so let me show you that one uh we use the r object i set id2 set name set space but there's no set type over here we took our set type by our subclass since our object is an r object it probably got to the rpg subclass all right so it went to this subclass rpg which is extending games and the discriminator value rpg since it's extending game the discriminator column is going to be the same as the one in the games what you call column or games class in the games class the discriminator column is type so even for the rpg uh, subclass the game uh, discriminator column is type and the value we are giving it is RPG so this RPG value came here and similarly we got the arcade value since we have in the last subclass arcade class we have the discriminator value arcade and we use the arcade object to really insert the last data that is arcade 3 Tekken and 600 and you can see 3 Tekken and 600 and we have arcade by default so this is actually how you use discriminator column and discriminator value. Thank you for thank you for watching this tutorial and hope you enjoyed it and see you later.